Hello everybody, welcome back. Total OS today is total technology for newbies, if you didn't already know that. Well, speaking of newbies and beginners, I had received a message uh, by request to take a look at a brand new, yet another new Linux-based operating system. I believe this one is based uh, somewhat uh, off uh, Ubuntu. It's called Haze OS, that is H A. ZE. I will have links below in the show notes. So, thought to myself, why not? Uh, I briefly took a look at the website and it, it does indeed say this is for beginners. So the question is, is it really for beginners? I don't have a clue. Uh, this is the first time I will be testing this inside a virtual machine with Ubuntu Unity as the host as you see here. So let's take a look and see what we have. Okay, this is the default desktop. This is your welcome screen. Uh, it says here if you would like to set up a Dropbox account. Uh, I do not at this time, so let me go ahead and get out of this. All right, the default desktop actually looks uh, kind of nice. This appears to be uh, the GNOME Shell environment with some specific uh, down downloaded GNOME Shell extensions, including this nice clock here in the middle of the wallpaper. The picture is nice. This kind of reminds me of my last trip to Italy many years ago. Very clean air, very clean air, clean water. Anyway, uh, getting back here to the U.S., let's take a look and see what we have. Now, ignore the very, very top brown panel bar. That's part of my Unity desktop. All right, starting for the top right, live session user, and we have a power off button. Yay! I'm making fun of this because the very first uh, GNOME shell that came out, this wasn't readily available. You had to do something else to shut down. Imagine that. All right, scrolling to the left, we have the network settings. Okay, sound settings with the VLC media player integration. Very nice. Let's go to uh, sound settings actually and take a look. If this is based off Ubuntu, this will probably look familiar to you for those who are using Ubuntu, and it sure is. Okay. All right, we have the Zoom settings, sticky keys, universal access settings, number one. And if I click number one, you have to do something else. Well, you don't have to do something else. You can just type in something. Uh, I don't know. What, sh what shall I type in here? Oh, a new task. Mm, all right, my task is date. What will it do? Okay, apparently this is something like, um, oh, sticky notes maybe. Nice, this is like a reminder for you to do something else. Okay, moving along to the left. All right, the weather extension installed, nice. Going to the left some more, we have the time and date, and I believe this can be set to AM, PM, 24-hour, 24-hour AM, PM format. Very nice. All right, going to the, now, one thing about this, right-clicking on the panel bar doesn't do anything. Same as Unity, right-clicking doesn't do anything. I really, really missed that, but that being said, so far, so good. Uh, moving to the left, left click of that. Let's go to the home page. All right, this looks like your standard GNOME shell desktop environment here. Um, let's see, to the far right, the spoke wheel. Yeah, this will close here. A drop down menu here, zoom in out. This is to rearrange your folders and to search. All right, I don't see anything out of the ordinary here, so let's click the spoke. The one thing before I click the spoke wheel, I wish this had was just a simple minimum maximize close button. You have to do some extra steps, which I guess it's not that unfriendly, but I don't know. I I still prefer either Unity or Linux Mint Mate, but this looks good so far, and it seems to be stable even in a virtual machine. So I will click close. All right, where were we here? Let's see. Click that. 
Okay, now this I do like. This has the drop-down menu uh, extension, similar to what, if you remember uh, Ubuntu, pre uh, GNOME 3 days, GNOME 2. This should look very familiar to you. Left-clicking, this will give you a drop-down menu. Uh, under the Accessories category, only what is highlighted. Very nice. And let's see, Games, once again highlighted under games and graphics office programming and so on and so forth let's see what's under sound and video for zero cheese kazam installed by default that's what i use to record this movie media player open shot video editor sound recorder the previously mentioned vlc media player and xnoise so this is very user friendly here and this is probably the hot corner. Is it here? Yep. If you've been running GNOME Shell before. Okay, this is something I suppose that you can take it or leave it. Uh, like I said, I have I use this um, somewhat occasionally. I have the uh, desktop environment for this installed next to Unity. I just log out of Unity, log into this when I'm, you know, feeling bored and want to try something different. So. Let's see, what shortcuts do we have to the left? Let's try the Firefox web browser. Uh, I use usually Firefox and or Chromium. And there's your Firefox. All right, let's go ahead and uh, exit out of this. Now, once again, with GNOME Shell right-clicking on the desktop, you can't add anything, and I kind of don't like that. Uh, that to me, that is somewhat unfriendly. It's not difficult but I prefer again Ubuntu Unity but so far this is looking really really nice alright at the bottom you have this um, Mac style dock I suppose we have trash show the desktop friends text editor shotwell photo manager system settings let's click that and see what we have and I have a feeling I know this what this is gonna look like yep this looks nice. The icons, the color scheme to me is very uh, pleasing on the eyes. Uh, if you are running Windows, consider this your control panel. Okay. All right, let's see. LibreOffice, Geary or Jerry Mail, uh, VLC Media Player, the Ubuntu Software Center. That is the place to go if you are new to this to browse and download new software. All right, this is running kind of slow again in a virtual machine. Things tend to run slow, but no crashes. Very nice, and it appears stable. And if you're on Ubuntu or something like Ubuntu, you've seen this before. Okay, files. And we've, of course, seen this before. Let's see, will this do anything if I, yep, you can uh, go to the hot corner and minimize this. Exit out of that. And of course the Firefox web browser. Okay, I think I'll stop the review here and give me, give you my conclusion. So what do I think of this as a dual booter? It looks nice. Um, it appears stable, at least here in the brief time in a virtual machine, and that is a very positive sign. Uh, the default um, installed extensions definitely going to help you if you are coming from a Windows environment, especially something like this, like the drop-down menu, sub-menu option here. This is going to help you a lot. Uh, you know, the GNOME shell environment, as you see here, uh, I forget which version this is running. I don't believe it's the latest one. It does say something on the website, but two things. This definitely appears stable, and even in a virtual box, it runs uh, somewhat fast. Now, if you do this as a full, a full install, this will run considerably faster. Uh, is this recommended? You know, it really all depends what you're looking for. If you are looking for something different, but not too different, for example, Windows 8 for you might be completely too different. Maybe give this a try. If you are running Windows Vista and Windows 7 and want to install this as a dual boot, definitely give this a try. This looks nice. It looks stable. 
Now, like I said, I, I already have the GNOME Shell desktop environment uh, installed with specific extensions, and maybe someday I'll do a video on that. So, is this for newbies? Yeah, from what I see so far, I would say newbies can probably uh, try something uh, like this. Take a look at this if you wanted to try something brand new. And let me know what you think. Keep in mind, I just tested this briefly inside a virtual machine. Not a complete full test, but hopefully this will give you a guide as to what this feels like. Well, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.